Okay, um, the problem that existed was that we want to try and get this um, this frame, this background image, to fit into the um, the window. But the problem is that as you reduce the window down to say a reasonable size, the background image doesn't change. Um, the background image remains the same, um, and unfortunately. The, even if you go into Windows and um, Options bars, turn that down a bit, and go into the textures, uh, you go into the background image. You can see you can't actually you can change the position of it. Let's put this down to zero, but you can't change the size of it. I'm sure at one time you used to be able to on an earlier versions, but uh, you can't anyway with uh, Zara 3D6. So how do you do that? Okay, so first thing to do is let's have a look at um, windows. At the moment, we've, we're showing this window in the display frame size. I'm going to click on frame size. I'm just going to ignore this for the time being, and that will come down to there. Um, and that will give us some, so we can then start to kind of judge how we want to, um, what size we want this window to be. And remembering it's got to be quite long and letterbox uh, letterbox shape to try and get in in the, the whole of that um, the whole of the background image um, so if we just um, click out the window again go back to full display click on window go back to frame size that tells you that that the frame size I've just set there is four five three pixels by one three seven pixels click OK so that's the size that's the size we need to be using so then we need to go into um, Zara Extreme, and this is the um, the image that you want to use as a as a background image, um, and then um, you can drag this down to resize it as you want. Um, I'm just going to open that up again. Uh, go window frame size, and the frame size is four five three by one three seven. So I want one of those figures four five three one three seven. Back in Zara Extreme four five three. Just going to put four five three. Enter. And that's too big, so I'm going to put one three seven here, like that. All right. If I just turn this down, I've got just a white background there, um, just to show that I'll change the background of the image there and you can see that there is a, just a, a white rec rectangle on the back there um, and it was 453 wasn't it? Um, window frame size 453 yep go back to Zara Extreme set this here this, you can't quite see that I'll move this up a bit it says that rectangle Four five three one three seven. So I'm going to set that to four five three one three seven. I can actually by bringing that down a bit, having that locked, and bring that size up considerably now. Get it like that, and you can put it a bit further over there if you want. Click on that rectangle file. Export. Um, I always do um, want to export it as a PNG. Call it texture. Not PNG. Export. Replace. I already got that one. Uh, true color. Export. Okay, so I've exported that. I'm going to go back to Zara 3D6 this time. Go uh, um, view background texture, background texture, drill down to where that was and it's TE texture, no, it's not right. Text, texture dot PNG, open it and there you can see that it's now come in uh, at the correct size uh, that you wanted and you can just go ahead there and export that. I uh, hope that helped anyway, bye.